New Year's resolution for a player or a team. Jay, what do you got? I want OKC to go out and get an upgrade. I want them to go out and be super aggressive. They got tons of pieces. They don't have to wait for another year. They're ready to win in the playoffs right now if they get an upgrade. And so I'm looking at Lowry Marketing. I, I love I want them to get a four, not just an upgrade. I want them to get like a power forward type where Chet can still be the center. They can still play small. They can still prioritize being athletic, getting to the cup, being having guy a lot of guys who can do a lot of things, put the ball on the I, floor, score. I tell you that Danny Ainge is demanding no fewer than five first round picks for Lowry Mark. Okay. Okay. So if, if Lowry Marketing does not work out. Hold on, no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, Danny Ainge says it's going to take five picks. We know OKC has the picks, right? Like they've got a thousand yeah. picks in the next six no, drafts. I'm, I'm not giving, I'm not giving five picks for Larry. Oh, what if like some of them the are protected? Target. Some of you know, some of them might turn. Moving on to the next the, target. The, right. It okay. should be on OKC's terms. This should not be like where they're just getting their held hostage for this. No, no, they so, don't have to be super super aggressive right now and sell out i dave just dropped this in the chat i agree with dave i think they need more of like a traditional five and move chet to the four agreed i don't think i think it's hard to play five out like laurie's not a he's not a he's not a big like that and chet wants to play on the perimeter more so like yeah, La- laurie's like a that five out small forward right that like, five it's... out is i think is a little crowded I think they need a guy who can live in the dunker spots or the high post, like a Jarrett Allen. You get Chet downhill, Shea down, like you get these guys downhill and you got him for a little drop off, right? And Jarrett's mobile enough that they can still, it doesn't hurt their like small ball, speedy way they type try to play. They don't need a big lumbering big. They need somebody athletic that can keep up with the pace of the game, but not take up another spot on the perimeter. What about, what if I tell you, Clint Capella is available for two first round picks. That's some crazy crazy rim protection. That's some crazy rim protection, but Mm -hmm. two first round picks is a lot. What if one of those first round picks is protected and likely becomes two seconds? Maybe. Then you're in? Maybe. Because think about that. You get downhill, like, look at, you see, you see Clint Capella and Chet in the paint. It, but I do like, like I like Jarrett Allen better, of course. The listeners can't select this, select select this in the chat. Is, uh, hold hold is, out is hell in no on letter this deal. By letter. Select is in on this deal completely. I haven't seen somebody so excited about a deal ever. Oh my Look at God. this guy. Yeah. What about going after Okongwu? Forget Clapella. Well, that I think it takes a lot of picks. Yeah, they have tons. Oh, okay. God. What, if I tell you, what about Pascal Siakam? Takes- what about Pascal what Siakam? That, but what is no, that? that same issue. That, that same issue. You're still looking at five out. Yeah, yeah. you're still See, looking at five I like out. the they five out They need a guy in the high post I and think, the dunk. Really? There, there's a certain point. Look, I know they've had success in the last couple of weeks in the regular season against Denver. It's going to be different. Like, you can't go they need a big, no bulk against Jokic in a playoff series. They need a you big just body that yeah. can take the beating for seven games. He'll foul, he'll foul Chet. It doesn't matter how good Chet is right now. He'll foul Chet out so quickly in, the, in that series. He just will. Like, it's it's just going to be a different animal than what we see in the regular season. And I think that they have the talent level to compete with Denver in a playoff series. But you do need someone just to lean on Jokic for 18, 20 minutes of that game every time. No. That's a yeah. dude, like, that's a dude that's going to punish. I love that we disagree entirely here on how to move the thunder forward. What's interesting is all, all of this. All uh, my names were, no, were none in of this that is, realm. None of this is fueled by how good Shea is or how good Jalen Williams is. None of this is fueled by that. It's fueled by something else for Jay. What? Huh? It's fueled by, this is simply you loving Chet. It's not believing in Shea no. or anybody else. It's simply you loving <laughs> Shea's Chet. Shea's amazing. Shea, Shea is amazing. He, I, I think Mari. he was number two on my RDP ballot when I had to do it for Bontemps' thing. Shea was number two. He's amazing. 
weird. I don't this, ask this is because people. Shea. This is because Shea is ready to win right now. This is why uh, I would give them more pieces. That's, that's why I would be is. aggressive going after somebody. 